this is Seth from BJJGearJunkie.com. Today with another gear review, this time we have the King's 550 Comp Gi. Um, recently actually this has kind of exploded onto the scene I would say the past couple months. Uh, you know, since, uh, since I had the Gi and I first started reviewing it, uh, there was little known about it. I, didn't, I hadn't read anything, you know, I just was approached, hey you want to review this Gi? Sure. So, uh, I didn't really have any expectations, and then over the course of uh, the last couple months I've been reviewing this, uh, really trying to test it and beat on it, and you know, I've, I've watched the Pan Ams, and I've seen more uh, competitors wearing the King's geese and um, some sponsored athletes and stuff, so it's kind of like exploded onto the scene. Um, I've kind of held back on reviewing this one and, and pushing out the review because for a while there, um, you know, the forums and stuff were just kind of flooded with reviews on this gi, so I wanted to take that extra time instead of just adding mine to the pile. I kind of wanted to just uh, really make sure um, it was as good as I thought it was, you know, and, and test it even more. So I got this one uh, in an A1. Okay, I'm about 5'7", right now I'm about 165 pounds, uh, 170 on a bad day, okay? I have really short T-Rex stumpy arms, um, and that's usually a problem. It was a little bit of a problem with this gi, but not bad. Um, I even actually had, once I like thoroughly reviewed it, I actually passed it off to a training partner too, and had him beat on it for a little while, and um, you know, really put it through its paces. And it came out, Splendid, okay? Um, there are a couple things that we'll talk about. I've already talked to the owner about them, and most of them he's already said that uh, in version two of this, this gi, it, he's already taken care of that. So me and him are on the same page when it comes to changes to the future models, which is great. Because um, sometimes you talk to a manufacturer or, or a brand um, and you give them suggestions and they look like you, you have three eyes or something. You're like, what? My product is perfect. Okay? Uh, no product is perfect. There's always room for improvement. All right, so let's jump, enough of me yammering. Let's jump right into the review here, okay? Uh, let's start with the top like we usually do, okay? This is actually um, a 550 gram pearl weave, okay? It's nice and light. I, I like the lightness of it, but I really like, I like 550, um, gram in general just because it's light, but it's still uh, a little hard for people to like really grab and manipulate, okay? So it is a little stiff, all right? It's a comfortable gi to wear, but um, it's not as soft of a fabric as like say, you know, like a, like a 350 gram, okay? Um, but I like it that way. I like it so that I can strip those grips off easily. I hate it when um, I'm wearing a, a really like light, like the um, perfect example, the uh, breakpoint acai gi, okay? Um, somebody gets what I call a caveman grip, they lock that up, okay? And they're there all day with uh, a lighter weave, okay? But the 550 is, is stiff enough so that when they lock this up, I can still rip it out. It's harder for them to hold on to, basically. Okay, so that's the weave. Um, let's talk about the fit real quick. This was a little long in the sleeves, okay? Um, it's an A1, it was a little long in the sleeves, but I have short arms. So I was like, well, maybe it was just me. You know, I, every V I tend to have that problem with. Um, but I passed it off to my training partner who normally wears an A2, um, and the sleeves fit him perfectly. So when I went back to the owner and I talked to him, he did say that uh, the gi overall is a little long. The sleeves are a little long and the skirt was a tiny bit long. So he's going to sh uh, shorten up the sleeves a little bit and shorten up the skirt length a little bit on future models. So the fit should actually get even better. Um, but that's just sort of uh, kind of a word of caution. If you normally take an A2, but you're on the smaller end of an A2, you may actually want to go with an A1 um, in this model, okay? Um, the pants we'll talk about in a minute, but other than that, the jacket uh, fit me good. Like, it wrapped around my body good, um, and really it was just the length of the sleeves that kind of were just a little bit uh, uh, baggy on me. But it did hold its, um, its shape really well. Uh, which is another good thing about the 550 gram. Uh, you can yank on it all day long and it still stays the same length. Some stretch way out, but not this key. So, 
Um, so that's that. The collar is actually, uh, I, I'm impressed by the collar, okay? It's pretty stiff, it's pretty thick. Um, they definitely didn't skimp on it. It has the, uh, like the rubber insert there that uh, is, is supposedly to, um, you know, fight bacteria and help it dry quicker and all that stuff. So I like it a lot. It's comfortable, it fits around the neck well up on the top, and it's uh, a little harder for people to choke you with. So uh, durability and reinforcements, it has a nice big piece down here in the corner, which is um, one of the beefier uh, ones that I've seen. It's nice and thick down there, so that's good. Um, stitching on the bottom, it's not reinforced tape or anything down there. Sometimes they uh, like to dress it up a little bit. They have a nice big armpit piece there, so that's good. Um, the stitching on it actually has held up wonderful. I haven't had any issues with the stitching. Um, and I actually, you can, you can probably tell the color on this gi, if the camera picks it up, is a little faded, and that's because um, I was washing it a lot, you know, like putting it heavily in my rotation. I was even drying it in the dryer just to kind of see if I could, you know, make it falter a little bit, and um, it didn't, so that's awesome. So let's talk about the uh, looks a little bit here. We have uh, King's patch across the shoulders here, and it says uh, Comp 550 on there. This is nice, it didn't fray or anything on me. Um, down here at the bottom, it has uh, what I call like seam tape here, but it's, uh, it's pretty decorative. Um, future models, I think he's thinking about taking this off, uh, not having it there. I do not like the, uh, the look of these here. Um, these patches, to me, and I've talked to him about it, the owner, uh, they kind of seemed like a little bit of an afterthought, like, uh, let's put something here, and then iron it on. You know, it, it, like the, uh, the edges like frayed a little bit on me, and it just looked like it just didn't go there. I think it needs to be worked into the design a little bit better, and possibly look into how it's stitched um, on there a little bit better. So, let's check out the back. Um, nothing for patches on the back here, so it's nice big uh, real estate to put your own patch on there if you want to, or you can just leave it plain. Uh, there is no seam running up the back, so that is good. And other than that, that's it for the jacket. Now on the pants. These pants, man, these pants are bulletproof. In my experiences, anyways, um, I really like them. They're not the lightest in the world, okay? They're heavy, but I don't mind heavy pants. Uh, for training and stuff, just because when I'm training, um, I don't want to keep having to replace pants. You know, I want my pants to last. Maybe I'll compete in a nice lightweight ripstop set of pants if, you know, I need to keep my weight low or whatever, but these are nice pants. Um, they are not ripstop, but uh, they do have some nice features here, like they have the, um, I call it like, uh, like a stretchy, um, not spandex, but pretty, pretty similar to spandex, a little thicker. Uh, insert here in the crotch, which is nice um, because they are heavy, so any, any ventilation is, is preferred. Uh, the knees are really nicely reinforced, and also the bottom here on the, uh, the cuff is really reinforced. They're rugged pants, definitely rugged. Um, again, we have this patch showing up here that I've already said I'm not really too keen on. Uh, in future models, I believe he's taking off the patch on the leg as well here, maybe doing something different. So these are going away. I think it was kind of a, a mutual thing. A lot of people have said that they didn't really care for that, so he's doing away with it. Um, he did go with a, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six loop system here. Um, I tend to not really like it when the last two are like right here in the middle, okay? I like them spread out still a little bit because it gets a little strange when they're so close, but nothing functional about it that, you know, it doesn't really make a difference. It's just my pref preferred uh, loop system. I like them spread out a little bit more. I'd like to see these out a little bit more over to the sides, and then you can move these two out a little bit. Um, they didn't go with the bungee cord. Um, this is totally personal preference. I like the bungee cord systems. Um, some people don't, but I tend to not like to deal with this material here getting bunched up in the back. Um, corrals kind of tend to have a problem with this after you wash them if they're cinched up and you take them out of the wash. It's super hard to kind of undo them so you can fit back into it. Uh, I kind of had the same problem with this a little bit, but um, 
You can always replace the drawstrings with a bungee cord if you really want to, so it's not a huge deal. But maybe if they wanted to look into upgrading that in uh, future models, that would be pretty cool. So, all right, let's recap a little bit. All right, so uh, the jacket and the pants on this are, uh, are both solid, okay? I beat on these and I did not have them wear and tear uh, at all abnormally, okay? The color didn't really stay, but that could have been me not color locking it enough, and it could have been the dryer and just the rugged uh, abuse that I put on it, but um, other than that, I had absolutely no issues with it. So just remember that it does run a little long in the sleeves and size accordingly. Um, overall, definitely a good gi, and I think it's a strong up-and-coming brand. So uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Make sure you subscribe to the, uh, the Facebook page. We do tons of giveaways over there. And uh, do me a favor and like this video um, on the YouTube channel, okay? Thanks, guys.